Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is another haul video. I just got back from another showcase in Sydney. This time, it was the Priceline showcase. And this is the massive bag that all the stuff came in. Just put it next to me for comparison. So we got given a lot of stuff. But this time I've taken it out of the bag and tried to like organize it all into categories. So I'm hopefully not going to be as all over the place I was in my Sephora haul. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> anyway, if you guys want to see what I got from the Priceline showcase, then just keep watching. First up, I got given coconut oil. This is by Biogland and I was going to put this in my hair. We all know coconut oil has like a million uses. I wanted to see how it'd go as like a hair mask. Might add some into my smoothies as well. Then sticking with like health food, I also got given the Nature's Way Beauty Collagen Gummies. Oh my god, these are delicious. They taste like lollies. They're so good. Oh my god. Ah. So these are just collagen vitamins to help reduce the appearance of wrinkles. And they're delicious. Okay, what do I want to do next? Let's stick with another vitamin brand. So this is from Swiss. I got the Deep Sea Hydrating Mist Toner. Can we just talk about how cute this is? It's so tiny and adorable. Then I also got the Micellar Makeup Remover. These are going to be so good for traveling. And the Cranberry Antioxidant Facial Oil. I want to use the toner one right now. Mmm. Smells good. Is that it from Vitamins? Yes. Okay, next face mist is the Cinch Face Cheat Moisturizer Plus Glow Spray. So this is a spray moisturizer for your face and I'm kind of angry about this. Because back when I was in high school, I was like, why don't they make spray moisturizers for your face? Because I hated the feeling of rubbing in moisturizer into your skin. And now someone's gone and invented it, and I didn't patent my idea. Next up, I got some stuff from CoverGirl. So I got two mascaras. These are from the Katy Perry collaboration. Look, they have my name on it. Cat. So I got a black one and a blue one. This one just brings up bad memories of high school wearing blue mascara. Those were the days. Then also from the Katy Perry collaboration, I got a matte lipstick. This is in the shade Magenta Minx. Aww. And it's got little cat ears. You know you live in the tropics when uh, your lipstick melts. Okay, let's do a little swatch on my hand. Oh, this is a really pretty pink color. It kind of reminds me of Saint Germain by MAC. I might be completely wrong there but it still looks good. Next up, I also got some sunscreen. This is the Sunbomb 50 Plus. This stuff smells really good. I stole Steph's. Steph and I went to the beach after the Priceline showcase. Mm, it smells kind of coconutty. I really like it. So this is gluten-free and hypoallergenic. Hypo hypoallergenic. I'm pretty sure I said that right the first time. And then also from Sunbomb, I got two lip balms. This one is pomegranate flavored and this one is coconut flavored. And they're both SPF 15. Next, I got some goodies from one of my favorite drugstore brands, NYX. So I got two brushes from NYX. This is 02 and this is 15. Oh, this feels so soft. Then I also got from NYX the Beauty School Dropout Back to Basics Essentials Kit. I am so excited for this. This looks amazing. Just take it out of its box. This is what it looks like. There's so many eyeshadows and this highlight, oh my god. Let's do a, let's do a quick swatch, hey? That is so pretty. Oh god, almost dropped it. <laughs> Next up, I got some face masks from Skin Republic to try. So I got a bubble purifying and charcoal mask. I've never tried a bubble mask before. Did you guys just hear that thunder? There's a storm outside and now I'm getting a bit worried. <laughs> Then I also got the anti-aging collagen infusion mask and the collagen hydrogel under eye patch. Then I also received the new Mont Blanc, I think that's how you pronounce it, Lady Emblem Elixir Perfume. This smells so good. I smelt it at the event. Smelt? Smelled. Oh, I can smell it through the box. So this is what the perfume looks like. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, it smells so good, guys. It's like a sweet florally smell. Just gonna put a bit on. <gasps> if you like sweet perfumes, check this one out, guys. Then I also got a new toothbrush and toothpaste from Oral B. This is kind of funny because I walked past the Oral B stand and he was like, Are you using an electric toothbrush? And I was like, No. And he's like, Now you are, and gave this to me. <laughs> so now I am. Then I also got some new stuff from Bondi Sands. So this is the Everyday Liquid Gold Gradual Tanning Dry Oil. <gasps> I am actually really excited to try this as well. I've had way too much caffeine right now, oh my god. 
Then I also got the new Bondi Sands Men Everyday Gradual Tanning Foam. Lucky for me, I do not have a man in my life at the moment, so I'm gonna use this. Apparently, the only reason why it's marketed for men is because it smells like cologne. I don't wanna... Oh yeah, oh my god. It smells so good. So now I'm gonna be nicely bronzed and smell like a nice smelling man. Mm. Then next up, I got a bunch of lip balms. So I got two from Blistex. So one is ultra moisturizing and one is soft and silky. And then I also got a tinted lip balm from Lano Lips. And this. This is like the best lip balm in the entire world. This is the Lano Lanolin All Over Everywhere Multi Cream. So you can use this as a lip balm on your hands, on dry patches of skin, eczema, psoriasis. It's amazing. I love this stuff. I used to use this on my psoriasis all the time. Next, I got some goodies from Bourjois. So I got their Volume Reveal Mascara. I like that it's got a little wand here. No, a wand. Mirror. I like that it has a little mirror here. I've had way too much caffeine right now. Then I also got their new 10 hour brow duo sculpt pencil. So you have the brow pencil on one end and then like a highlighter on the other. I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys and I don't really like uh, brow pencils that are super thick. So I find then you have to sharpen them all the time and when you only have that much product, you go through it very quickly. Then lastly from Bourjois, I got an eyeshadow palette and this is really cool. Let me show it to you guys. I have tape on it. Hold on. So this is what it looks like. And this mirror bit turns around. I thought that was pretty cool. It's the little things in life that get me. But these colors look so beautiful, especially this golden shade. Oh, they're so soft. Let's do a little swatch. Woo! I like that. That is a really pretty gold. Then I got some new stuff from Essence in this little bag. So we have the Essence Matte 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 Long Lasting Lip Gloss. Then we have the Essence Lip Liner in Satin Move. The Light Up Your Face Luminizer Palette. Gonna be honest with you guys. <laughs> Cute. That's like my new phrase right now. Gonna be honest. These don't look that shimmery to me. Let's do a little, little swatch. Oh, actually, it is quite shimmery. Never mind. Okay, two things left in the bag. We have a long lasting eye pencil and I'm gonna guess this is mascara. Yes. I Heart Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. Then I also got some stuff from Astralis. This is the High Life Illuminating Strew Powder. This is in the shade Ignite. Let's open it. You guys know how much I love highlighters. This looks really, really gold. Give it a little swatch. Running out of hand space. I'm not sure how this would look on my skin tone. It's quite dark. I'll have to have a play with it, see how it goes. Almost dropped it, whoops. And still from Astralis, I got the Liquid Strobe Illuminating Drops. Ooh, these kind of remind me of the Cover FX Illuminating Drops. And lastly from Astralis, I got the Matchmaker Shade Adjusting Drops in Lightning. This will be really handy because I'm always a lot paler in winter. So hopefully I can add these to my foundation to lighten it up a bit. I've like lost all natural light and I'm filming with artificial light now. So sorry if I look a little green, that tends to happen. I'm not good with artificial lights. So next up are some skincare pieces I got, and this is from, oh my god, they're gonna hate me for not being able to pronounce this, La Roche Posay. I feel like I'm saying something really inappropriate when I say that. I'm just gonna call it La Roche. So I got their Ultralight Intense Soothing Fluid Face and Eyes. I assume this is a moisturizer. Oh, I really like the packaging of this. And then I also got the overnight version. So I'm guessing this is a night cream. Oh, they look so cute together. And I also got their micellar water. You can never have too much micellar water. So still with skincare, I picked up some of the Love Your Skin collection. So in here is a face wash, a moisturizer, and a lip balm. These are like the perfect size to travel with. So I'll be taking these with me on my next Sydney trip. So next I also got some hairstyling products. So I got the Batiste Dry Shampoo, sweet and delicious. I wanna know what it smells like. Mmm. Kinda smells like strawberries and cream. And then I also received the new Batiste Hold Me Hairspray. 24 hour invisible hold. This is also a perfect size to travel with. So you can come to Sydney with me too. Okay, so now it's like random things I picked up at the event. First up is the new Real Techniques Bold Metals Collection Miracle Diamond Sponge. This looks so cute. It's got like a marble pattern on it and it's in the shape of a diamond. Then I got the Samantha Jade for Models Prefer Eyeliner. Hopefully this is good. I'm always on the hunt for a good liquid eyeliner pen. Next, I was given the Veet Sensitive Precision Beauty Styler. 
I have seen this all over YouTube. I really want to try this out for myself, especially on my eyebrows. Then I have the Beauty by Nicholas Foundation No More Cream. So this is supposed to be a foundation that doesn't look like foundation. It's supposed to just look like skin. I did that wrong. It's not supposed to screw off. <laughs> so this is supposed to be makeup that looks like skin instead of foundation. There we go. I got the shade medium, but it looks pretty dark. Oh, actually, that looks pretty nice, actually. It's just there. Can you see that? Interesting. I'll have to try that on my face sometime. Next up, we have the Nip and Fab Smooth One Step Instant Selfie Perfector Primer. Apparently, Kylie Jenner was raving about this, so I'm pretty excited to give it a go. Okay, last random thing I received was the Models Prefer CC Unbelievable Color Correcting Mineral Powder. This looks pretty interesting. It's got like four different shades. So if you guys follow me on social media, you'll know that I also went to a Maybelline event whilst I was in Sydney and we got given goodie bags there too. So I'm just going to include it in this haul. So we got given the new Dream Cushion. We got three shades to try. Hopefully one is my color. I don't know. Do I want to try this now or do you guys want to see like a first impressions video? Let me know in the comments. So also in the bag, there were two mascaras. So this is the Lash Sensational Mascara. And this is the Colossal Big Shot Volume Express Mascara, both in blackest black. And we also got some new Baby Lips Lip Balms. I assume these are mint flavored because they say mint to be. So this is Candied Mint and Fresh Pink. Then we got some of the new Color Jolt Intense Lip Paints. I am so excited for these. These look really cool. These remind me of the Makeup Forever Lip Paints. So I got the shade 15 Fight Me Fuchsia and 30 ready or not. I actually got two of the shade 15, so I'm going to put one in my giveaway bag. So keeping with the lip products, we also got three lip liners. These are the Color Sensational Sharpening Lip Liner. I have the shade Dusty Rose, Pink Coral, and what is this? What is this? Brick Red. Then we also got some lipsticks. So we have Fiery Fuchsia, Orange Danger, and Dynamite Red. Let's do some swatches. So these are the swatches of the lipsticks there. They look so pigmented and they're all matte as well. I love matte lipsticks. Next in the goodie bag is the Rock Nudes palette. So this has finally come to Australia. I feel like the States have had this for ages now and we've only just gotten it. But let me know if you guys want a tutorial with this palette. Then we have a new Maybelline Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner. This is my favorite liquid eyeliner ever and I ran out of mine, so I'm so grateful. <laughs> then I have the Brow Precise Micro Pencil. This looks really cool, but it's in the shade Auburn. My eyebrows aren't Auburn. So I might have to visit my local Priceline and pick one up in my color. Then we have some more new goodies that I'm so excited for. This looks so good. This is the Maybelline Face Studio Brick Bronzer. So you have a bronzer on one side and then a highlighter on the other. This looks so pretty. Okay, where can I swatch this? I'm running out of hand space. Ooh, that's really pretty. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. But then I also have the Strobing Stick Illuminating Highlighter. This looks amazing. I'm just gonna swatch down my arm now. <gasps> can you see that? That is so pretty. I hope they have a golden one of these too. This is like a champagne-y pink color. And then lastly, in this haul, we have the Maybelline V-Face Duo Stick. So this is a highlighting and contouring stick. Let's open it. What shade is this one? Do they have shades? Light. Ooh, so this is the highlight shade. Let's do a little swatch. That's it there. Now let's see the contour shade. Ooh, this looks pretty. I might need to pick up a darker one. It's only slightly darker than my skin tone. <laughs> I'll see how it goes. So that is everything in my haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Also let me know what products you guys want tutorials on and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys!